thanks to German Knife Shop for sponsoring Everyday Tactical Vids. German-knife-shop.com Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're going to talk about this, which is a med kit I've built into the new 7x10 Fat Pack from Vanquist. So this is considered a Gen 2 Fat Pack. Um, basically a lot of people have used their um, organizational pouches to build med kits and so they finally said, hey, let's put it in red because a lot of people want that for medical purposes. You can see it's got that little red uh, Velcro or hook and loop up there. If you want to put like a big you know, medical patch on the front, you can do that. But let me basically turn the uh, camera around here so we can get a close up of this. I'll talk through what's in the pack as well as some of the features of the organizer as well. All right, so let me talk through some of the features of this. First off, your material, 1000D Cordura, YKK zippers. It's just, I mean, like all their other gear, it's gonna be nicely, really nicely made. So you've got hook and loop here, as well as you can, you know, run anything that can attach to um, Molly webbing across the uh, front there. You can put like your, uh, your blood type patch there. You can attach another pouch on the front here with their Molly sticks if you want to do that. So you can, you know, make this and then another layer on top if you want. So again, just high grade material, nicely made. Um, on the side, you can see we've got standard Molly uh, webbing, one, two, three of them. They do include this little hook and loop. So what I've done is I put a tourniquet there and then I've looped it there. So if I want to get the tourniquet out, I basically just take that off and then pull the tourniquet out. On the other side, what I've done is I've run some shears through here. So there's a look at the shears and you can see I took the hook and loop and basically looped it around so that they can't fall out easily. And then on the back, you've got a lot of uh, molly there so you can attach more gear or attach this to something as well. Down on the bottom, you've got a couple loops as well if you want to attach more gear or you want to run something through there. Um, certainly if you like attach this to a pack and it's bouncing around, just run a little paracord through there to make it more secure. So as you can see, when it opens up, you've got basically that orange section, then you have the red section down below with the uh, bungee cord, and then that fold over section as well. Before I talk about what I actually keep in my kit as far as the gear, let me just talk about the bag. So again, high quality materials. You got the ripstop here. You've got uh, bungee across the front, so some larger sections, a smaller, a big large section, and then smaller there. You got a pocket back here, a big pocket in the back, and another pocket here as well. And that high vis orange. Uh, so you can see things, you know, even if it's a little bit darker out, this is going to give you some contrast, which is great. I'll talk about this a little bit more when we look at all the gear and how it's organized, but for this lower section, you've got the bungee, so you can organize gear in there. Here's your hook and loop that closes it up, and then this fold-out section as well. And across the board, like I said, like 20 times already, high quality gear. It's not going to rip or, or tear on you because it's made of, you know, expensive gear. That's why you're going to pay a little bit more for a product like this. This one's going to run you around 40 bucks. All right, so what do I have up here? First off, an Israeli bandage. Um, this is good till 2023, so I've got a bunch more years for this one. Um, then I've got some medical tape. Now this uh, bungee actually goes down to the lower section, but I just basically untied it, looped this through, and then tied it off again, so I can get that out of the way if I want to do that. So in addition to the Israeli bandage right here, I've just got a bunch of band-aids, and I want easy access to these, so that's why I keep them right here. Uh, this is obviously a kit for some more serious uh, medical situations, but also just, you know, scrapes and, uh, and cuts and stuff, I've got that. Over here, I've got a very small flashlight. This is the Thrunite TI-5. And so, in case I need to you know, be looking at something while I'm dealing with the medical situation. And then over here, I've got a roll all wrapped up of the uh, Sensi Wrap. So this is um, self-adherent, so it's gonna stick to itself. Obviously, that's what that means. But you know, it's kinda like if you get a, a bruise or a, a, a sprain or something like that, you can wrap something up and then obviously you can use that in a variety of different ways. Um, over here, I've got a product that I just got from a battle box. This is the FORT, F-O-R-T, Foreign Object Removal Tools. And so basically you've got alcohol prep pads, a small pair of scissors, and then these things, and you can check out my battle box video. But basically each one of these little, or these longer sections, there's little tools in the end of it. So let me just open this up. And so this one is, this is actually magnetic. And it's like if somebody's got something in their, in their skin, in their eye. Let me just attach this properly so I don't cross thread it. There we go. So you've got this and then there's another one in here and then there's two other tools just for removing, you know, splinters or things like that that people might have in their skin, but also particularly like in their eyes, ears, things like that. So I just recently added that to the kit and then back in here in this back section, I've got um, some compressed gauze, and then I've got this, I don't know if you've seen these before, but basically it's a, uh, you know, a splint 
but it's uh, soft here on the outside, but it's got a, a hard material or harder material on the inside. So I'll put this around an arm, you know, a leg, whatever it might be, to give it a little bit more stability. So that's everything in this top section. Now down in this bottom section, you can see what you have is bungee that runs through here and you could put gear in there and then cinch the bungee down as tight as you want. If it's bigger, it can be looser. So there's a variety of different ways to set it up. This section I love, basically it folds in like that and then when you open it up, it folds out like that. If you wanna take it off, you can just remove these two hook and loop sections and remove it. Um, in here basically I have a lot of, you know, it's like Tylenol, ibuprofen, um, this is uh, for allergies, you got stuff for burns, a variety of different, um, you know, kind of medicines and things in here. So there's some alcohol prep pads, you can see Tylenol, you can see burn gel. So that's where I keep all those kind of odds and ends because they would fall out if I put them in another section of the bag. But it's great that you could see through it. And this is, um, it's actually like kind of a plastic material, but it's mesh. So it's gonna be strong, but you can also see uh, what's in there. And you know, if you wanted to keep some sort of ID in there or if you've got a medical situation somebody finds you and they you know you have a, a note about you know maybe you're diabetic or something like that if you want to have other info in here you could obviously store it up in there as well in this section you can see I've got a SWAT tourniquet I already had a tourniquet on the outside but I want to have a backup just in case we've got some uh, some gloves here I'll probably put these into a uh, plastic bag so that they don't um, so they don't get dirty and then down here we have a uh, CPR uh, mask and then some a gauze pad down here. Now you can see I've got uh, redundancies on some things. I'm gonna add more to this kit in the, uh, in the future as well. But I've got like band-aids up top and then some gauze pads. Just sometimes, you know, you get a cut but it's not like a, you gotta rush to the hospital, bust out a tourniquet situation. So I wanna have that stuff in this kit and then obviously stuff for more intense situations as well. I do wanna get a seal here. So I've got a chest seal in case, um, you know, in case I ever need that. Let me show you the uh, close up process here. So this folds like this, and then it folds up like so. So this folds up like this, and then basically you're just gonna run the two zippers up the sides here. A little bit hard to do on camera just because of the weird angle, but the idea behind it is that once you get it all organized and cinched down like so, again, all you gotta do is grab that handle, yank, and the whole kit is displayed for you. All right, if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you're gonna know I really like VanQuest gear. They're one of the first companies I ever worked with, I mean, a long, long time ago. So they continue to make great gear as far as backpacks, messenger bags, um, and then organizational gear as well. Uh, let me ask you a couple questions. If you're, especially if you're in the medical field, what else would you add to this kit? I'd love to hear that in the comment section. I always refer people over to Skinny Medic. Just get on YouTube and, and look him up, Skinny Medic. Um, he does a great job at talking about medical situations. His, um, his tagline is basically, you know, you never know if you're gonna be the first responder. So, um, I like to have a kit that is built for me to use, but also if I came across a situation and it was bad, but there was someone who had a high skill level was like, I'd love to help, but I don't have my medical gear with me. I could say, here, take mine, use that to help a person out. Um, so I build it for me and then also for others to use as well. So let's hear your thoughts as far as additions to this. And then let's also hear your thoughts on the actual uh, kit as well, as far as the organizer, this uh, fat pack from Vanquist. All right guys, so there you have it, the VanQuest Gen 2 Fat Pack. Let's hear your thoughts on both the uh, actual pack and then also my med kit as well. Be interested to hear the feedback that you guys offer. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.